Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Kim and today I have an unboxing for you. I did get a little bit eager be there and open her up already. It is this month's locked library. So let's get her out. I don't know why they put a box inside a box, but they do. Anywho, they did once send it just like this but they put the sticker over the top, which isn't good for content, but there we go. So as always, we have the sh I'm reading. I have actually taken this off and stuck it on my Kindle. So I'll pull that back and we'll open her up. As always, all of the recycled paper on the top. Again, we can't see what book it is, because it's just shredded paper, but we have, as always, the shh, I'm reading on the tissue paper, we'll open up the tissue paper, and oh, she pretty, oh, that is very pretty, okay, this, oh, <laughs> so the lock library for May is, oh, All the Dead Lie Down by... Kiri McCowley? If I'm saying that wrong, I'm so sorry. That's beautiful. Do love that. Oh, getting into the detail. You've got skeleton. Oh, I like that. Spine. All the dead lie down. Oh, the royal. Macabre yet somehow cosy, All the Dead Lie Down is perfect for readers who enjoy charmingly disturbing children and grand old houses full of secrets. A great book to curl up with on a dark night. Kendare Blake. Oh, we have, oh, I do like that blue. Top and bottom, we have a ribbon a bookmark, as always. And then we have some beautiful edge. There, that's that's pretty. Okay, let's go under the dust jacket. We have end papers, front and rear, author picture. Let's take off the dust jacket and have a look underneath if I can get my fingers under it. Nothing on the reverse of the dust jacket, but we do have a little bit of pretty foiling on the hardcover there and the rear. And I have noticed that's all of, if you put all the hardbacks on display together, they all line up. You have the key on every single one. It's exactly the same design. I do like that touch. Make my bookshelf look very pretty, having it all in one line. Okay. Let's open it up and have a flick through. We are. 361 pages long, so not all that many. The writing is quite large as well, so it shouldn't take too long to read. I really need to get on to reading my subscription book. What do we have? This we do. We have. A letter from the author bound into the book there with a signature. So let's find out what this is about. Okay. Sleeping House was very much awake. Days after a tragedy leaves 17 year old Marin Blythe alone in the world, she receives a surprising invitation from Alice Loveless, an acclaimed horror writer and childhood friend of Marin's mother. Alice offers her a nanny position at Lovelace House, the family's coastal main estate. Marin accepts and soon finds herself minding Alice's peculiar girls. Thea buries her dolls one by one, hosting a series of funerals, while Wren does everything in her power to drive Marin away. Then Alice's eldest daughter returns home unexpectedly. Evie Hollowell is every bit as strange as her younger sisters, and yet Marin is quickly drawn in by Evie's compelling behaviour and ethereal grace. 
but as Marin settles in, she can't escape the anxiety that shadows her. Dead birds appear in Marin's room. The children's pranks escalate. Something dangerous lurks in the woods. All is not well at Lover's house, and Marin must unravel its secrets before they consume her. Ooh. Okay, I like, I like. That's a pretty book. Mm. Okay, so there you go. That is the May Lock Library book. Let me know what you thought of it, what you thought of the customizations. Let me know when you read it and what you thought of it. Yeah, can't wait to dive into this one. As always, down in my description box, you'll find a link to all of my socials. Come give me a follow on Goodreads on Instagram and on Twitter. You can like this video, you can comment, and you can subscribe if you really want to. Until next time, toodles.